dear students once again welcome back to bosco campus session youtube channel of kottayam town bosco college i am ranier faculty member of pg department of english this time i am here with the paper communicative applications in english this is the open course offered by ba english language and literature for fifth semester ug students under kerala university in today's video lecture we are discussing two office procedures agenda and minutes these two are very important in the case of office jobs especially secretarial works so let's check what is an agenda agenda is an official list of items of business to be transacted at a specific meeting it helps in conducting the meeting in proper order minimizes irrelevant discussion and preserve continuity in the proceedings it helps the chairman to control the members from going off the track and to organize the time to be devoted to individual items a well organized agenda helps team members to prepare allocates time wisely quickly gets everyone on the same topic and identifies when the discussion is complete agenda is also called docket or schedule so one thing you have to do when you prepare an agenda seek agenda items from the members of the meeting so agenda is especially an intra office procedure the prime purpose of agenda is a meeting it is the official list of items of business to be transacted at a specific meeting it helps to pro, uh, to control the meeting properly or to conduct the meeting smoothly then now let's check what are the items should be included in an agenda the items are arranged in increasing order of its importance and each item bears a number every agenda has confirmation of the minutes of the previous meeting as the first item so the first item of an agenda is the uh, minutes of the previous meeting if there any matter left over from the preceding meeting or inquiry and report it appears as the second item so what is the second item of an agenda so if any matter left over from the preceding meeting or inquiry and report this should be appears as the second item the most important thing is appears as the second item any other matter with the permission of the chairman is appears as the last item so uh, the last thing which we should uh, which should include in an agenda is the other matter with the permission of the chairman so before finalizing the items get the approval of the chairman so it is the chairman is the last word of conducting a meeting so that is why seek permission from the chairman also then now let's check what are the items should be included in an agenda usually an agenda appears along with a notice for circulation it must carry the following detail the first one is name of the organization so when you prepare an agenda so what is the need of what is the purpose of agenda for uh, to organize it is a listed items in order to conduct a meeting very smoothly so an agenda appears along with a notice for circulation so before the meeting it is usual that a, a, a meeting a notice is circulating among the uh, among the members so along with that meeting agenda appears so agenda must have name of the organization date of the circulation of that notice then day date time and venue of the meeting must be included in the agenda then the signature of the secretary then in addition to all this we can include so we can uh, we can use certain sources like minutes of the previous meeting and suggestions received from members and actions events uh, if there is any since the previous meeting then correspondence on the subject so here i am giving a sample agenda uh, in this video lecture please go through it so as i as you seen here the first thing is appearing the name of the meeting that is staff welfare association executive meeting and the name of the company and full address 
on the right hand corner the date is appear and uh, and a notice is appear here and they say here the notice is like this the second meeting of the executive committee will be held at 5 pm on wednesday june 2020 in room number 7 office block please make it convenient to attend the meeting and the agenda is given below so agenda appears along with the notice so the agenda it is arranged in such a manner that the first thing is minutes of the previous meetings so always agenda appears the first item of agenda is minutes of the previous meeting second thing directors report and annual accounts third one is auditors report fourth one is declaration of dividend uh, then fifth one is celebration of honor and the last one is any other matter with the per, uh, permission of the chairman so the first item of agenda is the minutes of the previous meeting and the last item is uh, any other matter with the permission of the chairman and on the right hand corner a signature is needed of the uh, signature should be given by the secretary so this is the format of preparing an agenda okay dear students i hope you understood how to prepare an agenda so i am concluding for today let's discuss the rest of the session that means minutes in our next class thank you for listening do the homework and send me